a line drive. Backing up is McCoy. Bounces at the two. And out goes of bounds. out of bounds at the one. Oh, my gosh. That could have been in the end zone. And at the 20-yard line, the Mustangs pick up 15 yards of field position. That looked like it had no shot of going out of bounds, but it took a side spin. It took a left turn right there at the one. Nice uh, nice job by Levi McCoy not to pick that ball up. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. It's lucky that it didn't just die right there at the two-yard line, too. Well, sometimes you literally need the bounce. Yep. First and 10 for Fort Morgan at their own 35-yard line. This drive could determine whether Fort Morgan wins this game or not. Seven minutes and 40 seconds to go. The Mustangs led 7-0, tied at 7 at halftime, trailed 14-7, tied at 14, now down by 3, naked backfield, trips to the left. Wheatley's going to roll that way. Wheatley will run the football to the 35-yard line, now to the 40. Wheatley with a first down, spinning across the 45 to the 46, a gain of 11 for Briggs Wheatley, and he's really the entire running game, even though Frank Ortega scored from 10 yards out on his most recent carry. That is now 67 yards for Briggs Wheatley on 10 carries. Yeah, that was just a design run there for Wheatley, and that opened up there for him to get that first down. First and 10 at their own 46 yard line. Marquez and Redding are the receivers to the right. One receiver split out to the left, that is. Fajardo on first down at the 46. This will be the option left. The pitch to Ortega. That's got the sideline to the 50. And Ortega is taken out of bounds. He's ushered out of bounds at the 48-yard line. A gain of six. And Wheatley read that very well with the defender coming in on him. Yeah, it was a nice job of running the, the option. Something that Fort Morgan has run a couple times this year, but not a regular play. Seven carries for 21 yards for Frank Ortega. On second down and four to go for the 48-yard line. 6.58 to go in the game. Meade 17, Fort Morgan 14. Already Chatfield won the 4A title in a thriller. 41-34 over Erie. Waitley awaits the snap. Hands it off to Ortega. Stutter steps. He tries to regain his balance and squeezes out a yard to the 47. That could have been a lot worse than it turned out to be because he never had his footing. Yeah, he could have... He is able to regain his footing and get a couple yards, but it's kind of dangerous there. They had him around the legs and well, a couple gave, people pulling on that ball. They gave him nothing there. They backtracked the football to the 48. Nonetheless, it's only a third down and four, though. Fort Morgan's still in a good position. And there's still plenty of time. Six, 20 to go in the game. Naked backfield, trips to the right. Will Wheatley run it himself? On third and four, they're coming with a blitz. Wheatley tries to break out of a tackle and cannot. He's going to take a loss at the 49, running to his right. Couldn't get the block, and that's a nice ankle tackle over there by Joey Shields. And now with six minutes left, uh, Fort Morgan just barely into Meade territory. is forced pretty much to go for it now. On a fourth yeah. and five at the 49. This could be the season for Fort Morgan. Inside of six minutes to go in the 3A state championship game, trailing 17 to 14, and the Mustangs look like they will be calling a timeout, but they shouldn't let the play clock run down too much here. No, they're going to let it run down. It looks like to me. So, well, but they don't want any. They don't want any time left on the clock, though. If Mead, for me, if Fort Morgan give it, can get in the end zone, they want to run this clock down. That's true, but you're down to one play here, and yep. when you're down to one play. That makes a big difference. Premier Farm Credit is the gold standard in ag lending. They've been serving our rural communities for over 100 years in Sterling, Fort Morgan, Yuma, and Holyoke. Premier Farm Credit. I'm John Beltran with Brian Nickel and Kevin Rohde with 5.35 to go in the game. And Fort Morgan looking for their fourth state championship in school history. They won it in 52, in 92, and in 99. The 52 game was a 21-14 victory over Rifle at Rifle. The 92 game, they destroyed Liberty. The 99 game, they beat Evergreen 40-10. to This one going down to the wire. The last time the Mustangs were in the state title game, they lost by nine 13 years ago to Glenwood Springs. Fourth down and five from the 49-yard line of Meade. Will the Mustangs keep the drive alive? 
Ortega's in that backfield. Fajardo to the right. Now Ortega is one of three receivers. Empty backfield on fourth and five. And now Fort Morgan called a second timeout. I don't think they were lined up correctly. Yeah, obviously not. Oh, man. That was a huge mistake. Oh, you take two timeouts in a row, which, by the way, I found out in the NFL is not illegal. That's a penalty. Right. That's illegal, but you can take two timeouts in a row here. But now you're looking at Fort Morgan's situation being that much worse. If you don't pick up this first down here, right. you've only got one timeout. If Meade picks up two first downs, they can take it into basically for the championship. Yeah, they've got to pick this up. If they don't pick this up here, it's going to be, you know, unless they can force a turnover or something. Right. Um, the way they've been able to control the ball on the ground. I, I, you know, I hate to say it, but I would think me that would be able to run the clock out. Well, I mean, that's what they've been doing all game. Boy, it seems that the most recent play took place about five minutes ago. <laughs> no rhythm right now. Fourth down and five to go from the Meade 49-yard line. 17-14, to 14, the Mavericks lead the Fort Morgan Mustangs. Two receivers split out each side. Empty backfield. Wheatley is back to throw. Pressure coming out to his right. It is caught for a first down. That is Braden Fajardo. He's right at the stick. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, yeah. Needed four. He got like four and a couple of inches. Oh, man, what a clutch throw there and a well-run pattern. Oh, that was so, so close. Seventh reception for Fajardo. I know we've talked about it all season long, but what a season for Fajardo. Oh, man. He's now you're in position. If you score, you can really run this clock down, but you still have 44 yards to go. And the clock is running. We're approaching the five-minute mark here in Pueblo on first and ten. Wheatley awaits the snap. Three-step drop. He pumps. Heaves it deep up the right side. Marquez is out there. It's incomplete. He overthrew him. Man, you know, I don't know the last time they went for the home run like that and actually completed a pass. I mean, down the yeah. middle, yes. You know, your, your post patterns, but certainly not your fade patterns up the sideline. And that might just be trying to set up the underneath passes to stretch that defense a little bit and, and keep in their mind that they have to well, stay we, deep. You're right. Wheatley made the right decision. That was well covered. Don't throw that anywhere near the defender. The Mustangs have three plays to get 10 yards and continue this drive. Second down and 10 at the Mead 44, and even five minutes to go in the game. Mead 17, Fort Morgan 14. Wheatley to throw, looking to his right. He completes it underneath, and that is Fajardo along the right sideline to the 30. Fajardo back towards the corner, spins, and a first down across the 30 to the 26, maybe the 25. Braden Fajardo with some nifty moves, and the ball's going to be placed at... Looks like maybe the 23, 24. 24 yard line. It's a pickup of 16 yards. Braden Fajardo, one of the MVPs here for Fort Morgan, not only in this game, but this season. And the clock is going to stop since he went out of bounds. First and 10 at the 24. You're not in field goal range yet, but you're not thinking field goal. Trailing by three. Ortega to the left of the quarterback. Wheatley back to throw a deep drop set. He's a deep and open over there was Fajardo at the six yard line. Defender fell down along the left sideline. It's incomplete. Second down. And yeah, Fort Morgan just testing out this Meade secondary. The only thing here is if you score, really the time is not going to matter because there's going to be way too much time left on the clock. They really can't absorb all that time and, and, and have Meade in a hurry up situation. Yeah. yeah. Over four minutes left, so. I think I'd rather have a touchdown, be, oh. up, be, up, be up by four, and have them have four minutes then. Second down and ten from the 24 meet. Fajardo in motion, handoff, Ortega up the middle. He slammed down after a yard. There was nothing there. Might have gotten to the 22. And excellent play there by Corby Take You. One of our linemen, a little gimpy, 53. Third down, that should be one of the Paxtons. Randall. Yep. Third down and nine to go from the 23. Not field goal territory yet. Not field goal range. Two plays to pick up nine yards on third down and nine from the 23. Pistol formation. 
Waitley spins, looks to throw, rolls to his right along the sideline, caught! First down! That once again, this time is Chase running though! Not a 3-3, but a 1-3! A beautiful pass to about the 11. Gain of 12. How about that with Chase Redding getting involved in the offense? Nice, 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 nice. First down, Mustang. But again, he went out of bounds, so the clock stops 4.02 to go in the game. Meade leads 17 to 14, and the Mustangs are knocking on the door at the 11. On first and goal, is this going to be a running play? Oh, they crossed the line of scrimmage. They tried to read the count nice. off sides on Jeremiah Stritsky for the left end. And now it's first down and five at the six. Got to control this football right now. If you're Fort Morgan, because you know Meade is probably going to try to strip it here. Oh, yeah. They cannot stop Fort Morgan now. Checking right back into the game is Colin Duckworth. Fernando Marquez is out. First down and five to go at the six. The 3A state title is on the line here in Pueblo. They have an offensive lineman in at tight end. Well, Frank Ortega scored both touchdowns for Fort Morgan on first and five. And Wheatley keeps the football to the end zone. Touchdown! Did he get in? Yes! Wheatley scores six yards away off the fake to Ortega. And the Mustangs in this 3A title game lead 20 to 17. Wide open over on that left side, off left tackle there. He got hit a little bit about the two, but he just shrugged that off and went on into the end zone. Well, now this extra point is huge for a four-point lead. You know they're going to try to block it for the left side. And the kick is up by Marquez, and that one is good. 3.57 to go. Let's keep it right here. 21-17. to Kevin Rohde. Back-to-back -back money drives for the Mustangs. That, that's just fantastic. You know, again, it comes down to coaching. We're fourth and five in the state championship game. And those kids go out there with confidence knowing they're going to get it because their coaches have instilled that confidence in them and helped them to, to be able to do that. It is 3 o'clock Mountain Time. This is Morgan County's B106 KPRB Brush Fort Morgan. And we are... In a situation here where the Mustangs are three minutes and 57 seconds away from securing the 3A state title, 21 to 17. If Fort Morgan can stop Meade and take possession of the ball, Meade has no timeouts. Meade has zero timeouts. Now they can still run the ball. Meade can break one off. This is not over. This is far from over. We know that. Yeah. I didn't have to say that for it to be true. Marquez with his short kickoff. Along the sideline, Medlock at the 19, stutter steps. He's got a seam along the sideline, tackle from behind across the 30 to the 34. That's Moya on the tackle. They're not that far away with 3.51 to go. But can the Fort Morgan Mustang defense, which has come up big all season, make one play? It's at the 35, 65 yards away is Meade. Can they make one play? The Mustang sideline all fired up along with the Mustang crowd. Pistol formation. Evan Morris in the backfield on first and ten. This will be the give to Morris, and he's tackled after a gain of one. Colin Duckworth has him at the 36-yard line. I don't know if they're going to hurry up to the line of scrimmage. Mavericks might take their time here. They know there's still plenty of time. Ortiz is out for Fort Morgan. Also out of the game, Christopher Morales. Second down and nine from the 36. 3.27 to go. Fort Morgan 21 meets 17. Garrison rolling to his right. Setting up. He now is motioning a receiver to go. He takes off with the football. And Garrison's going to be held up. He does pick up some yardage at about the 40. Maybe the 41 yard line. But the Mustangs defended that extremely well. Campa and others were in there to make the play. The gain is about 5 yards. Didn't look like he went 5 because he was sidestepping defenders. Third down and four. We have 2.55 to go in the game. Fort Morgan 21, Meade 17. Pistol formation on the third down and four. Garrettson will hand it off to Morris. There's a flag down, and Wheatley makes the tackle at the 43. Morris held to a two-yard gain. 
That's probably got to be against that'd be Mead. Illegal, illegal shift again. or Right, because he didn't blow it dead. It is a shift, but now what do you do if you're Fort Morgan? Do you take the penalty? Because it would be fourth down and two. It would be a fourth and two. They're going to move him yeah. back. Yeah, make him take a little more time. Well, yeah, but you give him an extra down. I mean, they've been picking up fourth downs. Let's see what's decided here. Yep, they're going to take it. I mean, there's really not a wrong decision here, you know. No. I mean, it's 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 that's not an easy decision, by the way. I don't think it's that easy. No. It'll be back at the 36. All right. Well, this does set up about a third down and nine, and the clock is rolling once again. Third and nine at the 36. In motion, Medlock. Garrettson with a keeper. Garrettson to the 40. Garrettson is down short of the first down. He gains seven to the 43. So we're kind of back almost where we were. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's the same thing. Fourth and two. Now it's fourth and two again. But the time. Well, if Fort Morgan holds him here, the Mustangs could almost go into victory formation. 2.16 to go. Fourth and two. Meet at their own 43-yard line. The Mustangs lead by four. Garrettson awaits the snap. Garrettson hand off to Morris right side. First down. Across the 45 to the 49. It's too big of a scene. A game of six yards in the play. And Morris is now up to 67 yards. And they don't seem to be like any kind of a hurry. Well, they don't need to. Well, There's a minute 55 to go. But if they take 30 seconds for each play, yeah, well, they're they, not going to make it. No. Now it's a minute 48 to go on first down. Garrettson rolling out to his left. Looking, pressure coming, throwing underneath. Pass is caught, and that's just going to be a short gain to the 48-yard line, a gain of three. And Evan Morris makes the tack, or Evan Morris makes the catch, I should say. And slow to get up. And they're just happy to go. Oh, they got to get up there. Now, well, they give him the 47, so a gain of four. And the coach is yelling at him to hurry, and they're just yeah, taking min- their time. Minute 24 to go in the game on second down and six to go from the 47 of Fort Morgan. Garrett's in play action, and the slant is caught. First down to the 37, maybe the 36. Now they're in a hurry. It's a gain of 11. Corby Takeu is the receiver on that end for... Meade up to the line of scrimmage. Clock now rolls a minute five to go in the game. First and ten for Meade at the Mustang 36-yard line. And now play action. Garrettson wants to take off. He might throw the football. No, he'll run along the sideline to the 31. Now gets out of bounds. He steps out of bounds. And what do we have here? Do we have a penalty? They yeah. Call. There's going to be a hold, I think, against. Well, it's either a hold Meade. or that block or that blindside block. Right. Yeah. Well, it, let's hope it's the blind side. It would have been a gain of about six or seven. So that's much worse. Yeah, we'll see. But instead of getting it at the yep. 29 or 28 yard yep. line, so that's a blind side I, I, block. Yeah, because yeah. The, because uh, uh, who am I trying to think of here? You can't block upfield or backfield. You have to block up. Yeah, Levi McCoy was coming up to get right. that, and and uh, Garrison even pointed him out to do it, and then. All right, here's the situation. It's back to the 45 off a 15-yard penalty from the... Under a minute to go. Where it, uh, the penalty took place. First down and 19 to go for the Mustang 45. 56 seconds to go in the game. Fort Morgan 21 meets 17, the 3A state championship on the line. Garrison rolls out to his right. He'll take off with the football. Breaks out of a tackle, and he's down across the 35 to the 33. Well, that's a nice pickup of 12. And they're right up to the line of scrimmage. We have 39 seconds to go. It is second down and about seven to go. They're at the 33. Got to get to the 26 on second down. Garrett's and and now. Yep, they did move. They did move. And the clock stops with 30 seconds to go. Wow. These are tense moments here in Pueblo. A false start. So the second and seven will turn into a second and 12. Can Fort Morgan keep Meade out of the end zone? That's the only option that Meade has. They're down by four points in the game. That clock should restart, by the way. Yep, and it's going to restart. Goes. And Meade doesn't know it. And they have no timeouts. And now the clock is down to 23 seconds to go. It's second down and 12 for the Mustang. 38, 19 seconds to go in the game. Garrettson is going to spin to his left. Looks to throw. Rolls out to his right. 
Up the right sideline, the pass is intercepted! Intercepted, David Keller! The Mustangs are going to win the state championship! (laughs) (laughs) David Keller picks it up! Fort Morgan is going to win the state championship! Oh, no, there's a penalty for for Cheery or uh, (laughs) celebrating too much. Darn. Who cares? Oh my no gosh. Cares. All Fort Morgan has to do is take a knee. The pass was intended, oh. I believe, for Morris along the sideline. And this will be a post play penalty oh. against Fort Morgan. Oh. And you know that we're going to be on the field. We'll get some interviews with players and coaches. <laughs> oh. Is, oh, man. Wow. As the Mustangs are going to pull this off. They rallied from a 14-7 deficit and a 17-14 deficit. They took the lead on Briggs Wheatley's six-yard touchdown run. Still got one snap to go, though. You still got to get that snap down and yeah, no, take the knee. Yeah, no, no, no. So. It, listen, it says 10 seconds. It <sighs> says 10 seconds. Garrettson has thrown his second interception of the game. And the Fort Morgan Mustangs are one snap away from winning their fourth state title in school history their first since 1999 oh man we saw the i think all three of us called that (laughs) the interception and it ended last week with a big interception the ball's at the 10 yard line they still go five yards behind center that's what they're used to but you've got two running backs you've got and there it is there's the snap Briggs wheatley Holds the football up and the Fort Morgan Mustangs have won the 2021 Class 3A State Football Championship in come from behind fashion. They win for the second consecutive week with a score in the fourth quarter. Fort Morgan, 21, Meade, 17.